it was another element that kind of it um it was hurting the disc brake you know piece was uh, and you're probably familiar with this getting service parts out there mm -hmm. Right. Um, that problem is, you know, I, I don't think it's completely solved, but it's, uh, it's, it's way, way better than it ever has. It does bring a nice performance, you know, and any, anybody that's driving their passenger car right now, they're, they're all disc brakes. They, you know, stop very, you know, consistently, very evenly. Disc brakes has kind of helped, you know, you know, bring that, that feel to them where, you know, like, I'm sure, you know, like some people that have driven like even older drum brakes, right? You, you got to make sure you're holding on to that wheel with both hands. And, <laughs> um, you know, they do very well, but, you know, in, in emergency situations and things like that, I think, yeah. you know, overall the performance of a disc brake will just give a, a smoother, you know, more consistent um, stop. Yeah, between AMT uh, transmissions and disc brakes, uh, trucks have come a long way uh, compared to those old days for sure. So let's get to uh, what percentage of commercial vehicles have SCAM, what percentage of vehicles have air disc brakes? So we asked that question a little earlier. What's the answer? How many, how many trucks and trailers in North America are running air disc brake right now? Our data is showing we're about 50-50 with disc brakes and drum brakes. Okay. On trailers, we're about 15%, uh, one five on disc brakes for trailers and the remainder drum brakes. On um, like medium duty trucks, uh, you know, that kind of uh, combination, we're a similar about about 15% disc brakes on trucks. You know, that that market hasn't, you know, quite seen the the big benefits to go, you know, go after the disc brakes. 